let's talk about how the spin bowling triangle can help you decide on your bowling tactics. It's the dead of winter here at Pitch Vision, but we're still working on our spin bowling. But the problem with working on spin bowling in indoor nets is it's very hard to work on your tactics. The answer to this problem is to use the spin bowling triangle and a little bit of data from your Pitch Vision system. The triangle's made up of three corners. Your pace, how much turn or deviation you get off the pitch, and the areas where the ball hits the pitch. We used to call that line and length years ago. By knowing what these are and where you're strongest, you can decide on what the best tactic's going to be for when you get out into the middle against real batsmen in a real game situation. Let's take a look at some example bowler data to show you exactly what I mean. So here's an example from a young leg spinner that I'm working with and you can see he's bowled 200 balls here on pitch vision to various paces, accuracies and an average deviation of 1.6. Now just to give you a perspective on one point, what 1.6 is, that's probably turning from middle stump to probably hitting the inside of off stump would be 1.6. So let's start first of all by slowing his pace down and we'll do that by adjusting the speed down so the maximum speed that he bowls at is 36 miles an hour and you can see a couple of things there the average pace obviously drops down a little bit uh, the target hit changes down to 16.1 percent but the amount of deviation goes up to two degrees that's going from now probably middle stump to hitting off stump now let's adjust the pace again and let's only look at the quicker balls so now we can see here, his accuracy actually goes up to 27.4, but his deviation goes down by half. So we can see that when he pushes the ball through, he does get more accurate, but he turns the ball less. When he throws the ball up a bit, gives it a bit more of a rip, he loses some accuracy, but he turns the ball more. And from there, we can see what kind of training that we want to do, what kind of tactics that we want to employ in games and we can get back to bowling in nets with that particular tactical approach in mind.